welcome back to my channel. So I went to Stop and Shop and picked up a few groceries. I was able to get everything in one bag, and um, except for the milk, I had to carry it in my left arm, and then the five pound bag of potatoes, I had to carry it in my left arm, and I finally got upstairs with that, and then I had to go back and get the bag, because I can only use my left arm to carry anything right now with this, this uh, damaged shoulder. But I wanted to show y'all what I got, it ain't much, but I'll let you know what I got and what I'm gonna use it for, and um, let you know what I paid for it. So let's get started. Can you see it? Okay. So I bought me some potato chips because I made uh, pimento and cheese. Let me show y'all that. I've just about eaten it all. <laughs> it's just so much better with um, on white bread with potato chips. So I had to get some potato chips to go with, with what I have left of this. I think I've made three sandwiches out of it. And it was um, one jar of dromedary pimentos and one eight ounce package of cheddar cheese. Okay, so the chips were, I did splurge and buy some things Okay, so the chips were $4.79, but they were on sale for $3. Okay. And then I got a gallon of milk. I usually buy a half gallon because it's easier for me to carry, but it only lasts like two days. I'm a big milk drinker. I love milk. Okay, so the milk was, I think, four something. Yeah, $4.49. Let me put that in the fridge. And then I got a dozen large eggs. They had a dozen and a half, I think, for two sixty-nine, but they just didn't look good. I don't know. They just were too I don't know. They just didn't look right. They weren't shaped right or something. So the dozen was uh a dollar seventy-nine. And then I got two pounds of salted butter, and it was um, $3.99 a pound. That's still a good price. I think butter is the only thing that hasn't gone up in price with this in high inflation. Y'all, I can still use my right arm, but I can't. I can bend it and use it this way, but I can't lift it. Like when I put a clip in my hair, I have to bend over like this and hold my head down, prop my elbow up on something and hold my head down and then wrap my hair up in a ponytail like that. I can't lift my right arm at all. The labrum is, the cartilage in the labrum is totally, completely torn. Okay, so I'll put the eggs away. Okay, and let's see. <laughs> and I was a bad girl. Ever since Will bought me these Tahoe cookies, I have just, I've been craving them. I mean, it's insane, and I can't find them. I think I did find a bag the last time I shopped at Walmart, and they just had the one bag, and I had to look all over the store for them. And um, so Stop and Shop had them on sale, and they had three bags. I bought all three bags. <laughs> it's okay to be bad once in a while, right? I blame it on Will. It's your fault, Will. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so those were, they were $5.09, but they were on sale for $3.99, and it's worth it to me. I mean, late at night, you know, I get to craving something, and I don't really, there's something about cereal. I don't know if it has preservatives in it or what, but I love it, you know, and I love to eat a bowl of it at bedtime, but it makes my head feel weird. So I'm just going to eat a couple of these with a glass of milk for my, my bedtime snack. So they were on sale for $3.99, so I got three of those. And then I got some Pop-Tarts. Sometimes in the mornings, you know, I just want something sweet. I don't feel like, don't necessarily want to cook <laughs> bacon and eggs and grits and all that stuff. So. Those were on sale too. So the Pop Tarts were, let's see, they were on sale for 
and then I'm gonna start cooking next week. I have to get busy now and get here and start preparing my meals to put in the freezer for when I'm recuperating from surgery. So I'm going to make some biscuits and um, sausage and egg biscuits and get those frozen. So I got the Johnsonville sausage. I, I may still have some of those in the freezer because Will sent me a, a package of them not long ago. But I probably ate them. I don't know. I have to clean that freezer out. Uh, they were on sale for $4 or $3.99. And then I got this Hatfield ham steak. I'm gonna cut this into little pieces, probably four, and make me some um, ham and egg and cheese and biscuits. <clears throat> Get those frozen too. And the um, green peppers were on sale for 50 cents a piece. So I'm gonna make a pot of chili and divide it up into meal sizes and freeze it and then I think I'm gonna make maybe some spaghetti. So I'll, I'll use a half of a pepper in each, each one of those. So that was 50 cents. And then I went ahead and got some garlic. The sign said it was from Argentina, not China. Although it does have that glue on the bottom of the roots. I'd rather have garlic from Argentina than China any day. Okay, and it was 99 cents. And then the potatoes, that's five pound russet potatoes. They were $3.49. And the blueberries were on sale for $2.99 for a whole pint. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, I love blueberries. Strawberries, I'm, I'm not too fond of strawberries. And then I got two of these plums. They were on sale too. They were $1.61 for two. Oh, and I love these things, but you hardly ever find them on sale. The, the Pluots, they were um, $1.88 for two. Jill had bought some nectarines at Stop and Shop last week, and they were so good. So I bought two, but the ones that she bought were a little bit smaller, which I would have rather had, but get whatever you can get, right? So the nectarines. The pool arts were 188, the nectarines were 377, and the blueberries, I said they were 299, right? Okay. Oh. So anyway, like I said, I got everything into one bag. You won't believe what it costs. Just for that little little bit. Oh, and I forgot to show you the bread. It was a, a loaf of um a bread. It was um it was $1.99. It's called Big Daisy Bread. It, it's the round top. But their regular round top was $2.99 for the loaf. But I found this one loaf on the bottom shelf. It says Big Daisy. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, so I got it. So I'll use it to make my sandwiches that I'm going to freeze for my breakfast. I need to put a clip on my hair. It's in the bathroom. Total after savings, <laughs> savings of what? <laughs> 10 cents on the dollar, $55.31. Can you believe that? I mean, now I know why Jill complains so much about having to go food shopping and what it costs for their food. I just couldn't imagine having to buy food to feed a family and she only has two children there's some of these families that I watch on YouTube they have four five and six kids I just don't know it's just horrible oh I forgot my ice water y'all know I don't discuss politics on my channel but Something's got to be done. I mean, it, we just can't continue on like this. A six pack of Pepsi was $6.99. Now I can get it at Walmart for maybe five, four sixty nine dollars or five. And then I'll probably go to Dollar Tree and buy, buy the two liter Diet Pepsi for $1.25. They will probably go up. I look for all the Dollar Trees to change to just being a regular Dollar Tree at $1.25 to going up to the Dollar Tree Plus because they can't, you know, that's not enough uh, markup margin for them. 
Uh, the one liter Pepsi's at Stop and Shop were two fifty, so I just didn't buy any Pepsi. I'll just be out of Pepsi for a while until I can get to to Dollar Tree. But the problem with that is, you know, I don't drink the whole one liter even before it goes flat. But we'll see. Anyway, like I said, I'm not political or anything, but something has got to be done. We can't just keep going going up on food every single day almost. I mean, I don't go grocery shopping that much because I've been blessed with subscribers who care about me and are kind and generous and, and y'all have seen the grocery hauls that I, the ones that I film, I don't film all of them. If I filmed all the Instacart deliveries, all, all those old trolls would definitely have a, a heart attack. But anyway, uh, it's just my opinion that the, the ones running the country are just too old. They all just need to be voted out of office and we need to get some young, fresh young blood in office. You know, these young men and women who have children and are raising families and they know what it's like to go grocery shopping and to buy their school clothes and buy their back, their back to school supplies and pay for their after school activities. It's expensive. I mean, Jill has two jobs two part-time jobs, which turn into full-time. And, you know, I was complaining about her having to pay for childcare the day that I had to stay home and wait for the inspection. But because she's friends, uh, her good friend is the one that owns the daycare. So she's still charging Jill $60 a day per child, but her rates have gone up to $80 per day. I mean, how would even a single mother be able to go to work and afford that? I know if you're low income, the state of New York does help supplement or pay. I think you get a child care voucher that does help pay for some of it. But anyway, that's that's going to be my. Oh, I thought it wasn't filming. I was about to have a heart attack. <laughs> yes, filming. <laughs> oh, my shoulder hurts. You know, I think I've gotten used to the pain because before. When it was this bad hurting, I would say it was a level seven or eight, but Jamie called me uh, yesterday and he, he always asked me, he's so sweet and concerned. He said, what is your pain level today? And I said, it's about a five. So I think it's just because my brain has adapted to that high pain level and it's not as intense as it was, but it, it's starting to hurt now because I've done too much today. So I hope that you enjoyed my video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you know of anybody that might would like my content, I would appreciate it if you would share. And if you're new here, please subscribe. You will be loved and accepted here. And y'all, just keep on coming back.